Florence, the clouds that roll in, you start to notice with your perception check, it was a 16, right? Does that yeah. sound right? Yeah. yeah. So with a 16, uh, you and Bait have just sort of sat in silence for a moment, uh, but the clouds start to roll in a little faster than you would expect. Uh, I'd say that you, as you squint a little further into the light, where the moonlight was once reflecting, you now see orange in its stead. Uh, and after a couple of seconds, you are aware that these are ships, and they are coming straight for the island, and they're coming fast. Oh, hells no. Bait, we got company. You turn around, and Bait is gone. Piece of, what the fuck? Piece of fuck. shit. Cutting back inside the bar. We see uh, the four of you sitting there, and Bottle Brew, uh, he uh, scoops up a little bit of onion, just like Locke did, and then Dennis <laughs> eyes him, too, and he's just like, whatever, and he dips it in the sauce out of his beard and eats it. Has the waitress come back around yet? Um, you, you've noticed her, like, peeking up over the bar, like, not getting on the stool, literally just peeking her eyes over the bar at you, Miriam, has tried to steal glances every now and again. So as... Uh, as you all are just sort of enjoying your peace, uh, the doors to the tavern swing open. And in march a group of mage lords. These are not dressed quite the same way as what you saw in Arianor. They're more like the ones that you saw on the ships previously when you were sailing around with, with Bottle Brew. So they're dressed like the ones that um, Florence and I saw when we were on the that ship that one time. I'd like you to roll history for me. Ooh, okay. Uh, that is a two plus one. <laughs> so you get a vague sense of familiarity from these differently dressed mage lords. They're a little more regal. They have a little less armor. They have a little more pompousness around them. And four of them step into the bar and sort of stand on either side of the door, immediately getting um, your attention. Do you guys have any reactions? Is Colt's staff just, like, out and about? Yep. It's actually standing on its own, just kind of floating next to me. I'm okay. going to just try to shove it into my uh, vest of holding real quick. Okay. Well, Ryan, what do you want? Uh, I mean, I have a bag of holding. I'll see what he's trying to do, and I'll just kind of, like, <laughs> kind of nudge it in there. Okay, cool. Okay. So just as everybody- long as it's out of the fucking limelight um so he uh so yeah so uh in between the four uh mage lords uh steps in yet another mage lord but this one looks a little more familiar this is the kind of typical soldier outfit though a little more decorated Mm -hmm. uh as they slowly step into the bar and everyone around you stiffens up some people you hear like snickering under their breath but mostly everyone's just trying to behave themselves and miriam steps forward from the bar and says uh, yeah, 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 what is it, uh, what is it I can get for you today? I'm out of sauce, but anything else I think would be fine. <laughs> no. And napkins. Oh, got too much sauce. <laughs> Lock yells, <laughs> and napkins! No. Um, <laughs> the mage lord, uh, wearing gloves, slowly taps their fingers together, uh, removes, uh, the glove from their right hand, and starts to slap it into their palm, scanning the bar, and says, I am looking for the captain. Of the pirate ship Liberty. Have you seen them? Bottle Brew's face, uh, his back is turned to the Admiral, but Bottle Brew's face is like a mixture of, like, anger and also entertainment. Like, I'm going to splash his face with more sauce. As, like, uh, a disguise. As soon as you do that, the lead mage lord there with the glove whips their face around to the table and spots you immediately after the kerfuffle with the sauce and steps over very slowly and looks over to the table. He stands very tall, a little over six feet. Um, Seems human, though you can't really tell. Uh, uh, Definitely human elf, something of that ilk. And he looks down to Locke, who just threw the sauce and says, I don't know you. And then turns to Bottle Brew and says, but you, I never forget a face, Mr. Bubble Butt. (laughs) <laughs> Wait, that's his actual name. How can he so say I have the a, face? I have a thing that I want to do as I see that, you know, shit has gone down. Uh, I have a new spell, and it is okay. called a uh, Wall of Force. Oh, my God. I would like to make a 10-foot radius sphere around us 
separating us from Mr. Uh, Pompous Boy. That would be very difficult because he's literally standing like inches from lock and bottle brew, like right up against the table. I think it pushes people out of the way. I mean, how thick is this wall? Uh, it is a, it, it's just a wall of force. An invisible wall of force springs into existence at a point you choose within range. So I could do it between him and bottle brew. Are there, or anybody uh, else. is this verbal, somatic? What's the deal? Uh, this is verbal, somatic, and material. What is the, yeah, just a pinch okay. of powder made from crushed clear gemstone. So, um, Bottle Brew and the Admiral are both going to notice if you're shifting around, making gestures, grabbing things, and muttering. Like, they're both going to clock that right away. Uh, I'm not saying that to change your mind, but, like, if you do that. Yeah. The wall is a quarter inch thick. The Basically, as you do that, as you start to shuffle and mutter, uh, preparing your incantation, Bottle Brew holds up a hand to you and says, It's not worth it, honestly. And Bottle Brew, uh, you can still go forward with it if you want, but Bottle Brew is asking you to stop. Oh, yeah, I'm going through with it. Separating us from him. Or separating, so, like, bo- Bottle Brew is encapsulated. Anybody at our table is protected and safe and, like, physically blocked from anything this man can do. Okay. So, as you do that, um, and it, it pushes him back a little bit. This poor fucking tavern. No, no, no. So, there's a really dark part of me. So, I put up all the force. I also have cloud kill prepared. So, oh I could God. cloud kill, <laughs> and it would protect us from the cloud kill. Um, but I'm, I'm not doing that yet. Yeah. Or um, am I? I don't know. When the wall goes up, Bottle Brew and says, that is frankly not necessary and probably not a good idea. And when he says that, he nods over at the door and you see that the four mage lords uh, standing by the door are now sort of standing in readied positions. Their hands are glowing and crackling with different kinds of energies. And he, uh, he says under his breath to you, I don't think this is a fight you can win. And um, the, the, the person, the, the, the man standing in front of you uh, like taps a little bit on the wall, sort of amused, almost like tapping on a fishbowl, and says, "Hmm. Well, it seems uh, it seems our paths have crossed, and uh, in a bit of in a in an unexpected way, wouldn't you say, Captain? I uh, <laughs> you're just as bad with names as you are with threats. What are you here for? What are you buying? I'm here for you, and I think you know." It is not just the four of us. And then they kiss. <laughs> <laughs> um, the four of us. Oh. Yeah, the four the four mage lords at the door. He's he's implying there are more outside. Good. If any of you guys like want to get a look at these bad guys, um, you certainly can. Um, otherwise, I'll just keep on rolling. I think just keep on rolling. Yeah, I'll just assume it. I, I imagine that we're kind of uh, trapped in the bubble. We can't exactly, uh, you know, shift around to see too well through the door. You know, it's a ten, outside it, of the well, four it's, guards. It's hundo percent clear, and it's a ten foot radius, so it just kind of separated us from that. So you can get up from I, the table if you wanted. All right. Well, whatever. Go ahead, Colin. Forgive me for my poor manners. I'm an admiral with the Mage Lord Order, and I am not here to fight. I am not here to harm, but I am sorry, Captain. I will need you to come with me. What, what do you want with Bottle Brew? It looks looks down at uh, at the girl, at Maeve, and like his eyes like widen for a moment and then narrow. And all the other uh, mage lords uh, clock your uh, your speech as well, and they essentially intensify their position. They, like, take a more rigid order that they don't take any aggressive action. Sounds pretty ah. aggressive. Uh, not... They don't, they <laughs> I, don't I, attack, I, I, but yeah, they're, they're fortifying what you're themselves. Down. Yep. Um, so, the Admiral uh, looks at looks at Maven and says, the same thing we want with anyone who creates trouble amongst anyone, really. We want to talk. Seems to me like you could talk right here. Yes, indeed we could, and frankly, your exploits here in the Badlands around Arianor, around Farpoint, have agitated those of us who still report to the mainland, and frankly, I'm sailing places I didn't want to sail, stepping into pubs that I didn't want want to step into, and he looks around at the sauce and the onions all over the place and, like, gives a disgusted sneer at the floor. Again, I... 
<laughs> I am not here to harm you. But if you resist, Captain, you will be harmed. Um, Battle Brew? What, uh, what, 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 what? He thinks deeply, does not break eyes with the Admiral, and says, I'll go. Better me than, uh, than my crew, wouldn't you say? And he looks at Colt, and basically he's, like, asking him to lower the bubble. And, like, Bottle Brew's eyes are, like, really intense right here. Fine. I will, what's, uh... What's, what's the name of the spell, too, just for my own edification? It's Wall, of, Wall force. of Force. Wall of Force. I can just, I can just drop it. It's not a big I, deal. I mean, no, it's, uh, I, I just want to make sure that, like, I'm prepared for uh, whatever you do choose to do. <laughs> Probably not. You're never prepared for what I have. <laughs> uh, nope, I sure am not. Uh, I'm not going to lie, Colt, you are the chaos agent that makes it very hard to plan above boards, because I don't have a lot of time to do them. <laughs> um... It's like it's like, or if you choose. Oh, okay, so do you choose to drop it or no? Yeah, yeah, I, it's concentration, okay. so I can choose to drop concentration whenever I feel like it. A wise choice. And with his gloved hand, uh, he he like slowly grabs the lapels of Bottle Brew, and like and, and he's not like yanking him, but it's like definitely just like a power play. He like grabs it really tightly and then like sniffs. And it's like kinky. You smell like shit. And then uh, basically just throws uh, <laughs> Bottle Brew in front of him, like trying to like s get him to walk out of the bar. Uh, and Bottle Brew complies. I'd, as he does that, I'd like to uh, call out, "Hey, uh, hey, Admiral!" The Admiral looks. Don't get into too much trouble. He furrows his brow, confused as to why you're saying that, uh, but then looks at the other mage lords and like dart darts his eyes back towards you. And the other mage lords um, they approach. And as the Admiral leaves uh, leaves the tavern, says, You won't be harmed, but you should come along for the ride. Uh, I'm and confused. The, uh, what is happening? I'm looking over at Dennis. What is Dennis's reaction to all of this? Dennis's reaction is, like, pretty even face. Dennis has not been... He's not been apprehended, not been, uh, quote, arrested. Um, and Dennis just kind of, like, as the Mage Lords approach, the four of you, Dennis steps back. And the other four Mage Lords come up, and they... Um, they just sort of look at you, expecting that you know what to do. Well, I I don't know what you want, so what? Can you can you spell it out, please? Oh wait, what that? This um, this wasn't clear. You 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 come with us. Or what? Or um, you know, you get harmed. That's what he said. I'm gonna look around everybody at the table, kind of seeing if I can gauge their reaction to this. Like, are we are we tumbling right now, or are we gonna let this fly? Uh, as Dennis steps back, uh, Dennis is also gesturing at other patrons and uh, helping them escape uh, through the back. It's, but, like, it's such a drunken mess in here that, like, not a lot of people are following. Um, Dennis is going to uh, cast Message and try to speak to Cult directly. Uh, so in your ear, as, as Dennis backs out of the tavern, you hear, There are more outside. I can almost guarantee it. I will take the liberty out. If you can escape on your boat, escape is the best option. All right. It seems like it's, this seems like when assholes die. Um. All right. Uh. I look to my friends. Does it seem like they are ready to get the fuck out of here? Like slash or murder our way out of here? Uh. Hand is on my sword right now. Like just like resting. I am holding Mister Bear. So are you guys gonna? We gonna scoot? We gonna go? Just one moment. Uh, you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't hate a man, an old man, for getting out his walking cane, would you? Uh, <laughs> I mean, probably, yeah. I, I mean, you a lot of Gandalf piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, d like, don't do it, please. That it, honestly, dude, I've had a long day. That'll just make my day a lot worse, and yours worse than mine. I want like. From the look of these guys, does it seem like they're like rough and tumble, like really high level adventurers, like, or does it seem like they're just a bunch of schlubs? Roll insight. Uh, I'm historically awful at that, so I would also like to uh, take part of this to try to size them up uh, yep. a bit. That's all of an eight, a seven plus one. Mm -hmm. That is a twelve for me. Maeve, these are the Mage Lord Keepers that um, that Bottle Brew is talking about. These are the top tier magical enforcers. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that you probably have a better idea of them. You have yet to encounter them, 
though you may have seen them in passing. But from what you know of bottle from Bottle Brew, there's normally only one of these on a ship, and here there are four and more outside. Um, shit. So he has dropped the the wall, correct? Yes. And they're just at our table. Yeah, they're just standing there. They're like in a in it's a bit of a three stance. Of us, right? How many yeah. more sauces do I have? <laughs> you said you threw the rest of the sauce at Bottle Brew. I so said I threw ha- one. I heard one. Okay, well, I wasn't... This How many sauce sauces packets. did there she give me? There aren't little fucking foil-covered sauce packets. Uh, she, gave like she gave you like a bowl of sauce. She gave me okay. like a bowl of sauce. I thought you meant she gave me like several little ramekins of sauce. I feel no. bad for wasting it all on Donald's <laughs> face now. That's the regret here. Um, Can I cast message to yes. um Dennis? Yes. Okay. I want to cast a message and say to Dennis, uh, Dennis, how, uh, what's, what's the best, uh, which direction are, how, which direction are they in outside? Uh, how, what is the range on message again? Message has a 120 feet. No reply. Damn it. Okay. Um, Do you have to know where the person is to send the message? Pretty sure you need to have line of sight or something. No, you are correct. Okay, that's uh, I had to point my finger towards a creature within range and whisper. Whoops. Yeah. Um, so as so as you guys are just sort of like standing here, obviously thinking, uh, the the maids were just like, you know what, just meet us outside. It's no big deal. And like two of them stay by the door, but two of them walk outside. Um. Okay. So as they start to walk out the door, um. I'd like to stand up and be like, um, can, can you just, uh, g- give me just a second? Can I look out the window to get an idea of how, what it looks like out there? Yes. Okay. Roll perception. Uh, that is a 13. There are so many ships. Mm-hmm. There are coast to coast ships and you can't count all the people, but there's a lot of people out there. Guys, I don't know if we can get out of this. I I kind of have a plan. Dudes. Hey, dudes. Like, for real. You're not going to... We're not going to hurt you. I swear. We just got to... Please. Why? And he turns to, like, his friend... His, his, his co-worker, like... It's just always at the end of the longest day. Uh, when I... Could, come, come on. So when he's... Uh, is there, like, any room at the dock for another surprise boat, potentially? No. Absolutely not. Every port is full and every boat is like triple parked. How about the Liberty? Is the Liberty visible? Uh, Liberty is boxed in. Okay. Uh, well, I, uh, well, there goes my plan. We, we don't really have uh, many places to go here. So, so where is... Uh, I think we just gotta suck so, this one up. Well, where is Florence right now? Uh, well, last we saw Florence was at the dock. Uh, haven't followed up since then. And we Florence. also don't know where bait is. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I I don't know if necessarily this is what we're supposed to do, but I feel we should fight or at least, like run away guns blazing at least at minimum. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel necessarily. I don't feel like we're going to have success trying to fight this. I think we would have much better success going with them and devising a plan once we have gone where we're going. I agree with that. Okay, I will. I will contain my crazy for now. There is no Bye. supposed to here. There, there is just your choices. I'm trying. I, I tried to make this as, a, like, obviously it is what it is. But I did not like have a specific action on your behalf in mind. Stand up from the table, grab the final piece of bloomin' onion, look over to the barmaid, give her a wink as I eat it, and walk out. Uh, Miriam sheds a tear. <laughs> for Locke munching the saucy onion on his way out. Should that be the name of the tavern? The saucy onion. The saucy onion. That, that's Hell a really yeah. good. That's a really good name for a tavern. Wow! And the last time we're here is when we actually fucking name it. <laughs> Yo ho, hello there. It's Colin uh, here with a breakaway to try to break up uh, the tension <laughs> a little bit as we uh, as we wrap up chapter fifty of our podcast. Fifty mainline episodes of Dicey Waters. That is freaking exciting. And honestly, I'm just excited for what comes after fifty because it is wild. 
Uh, but this is the second half of our Above Board, our transitionary story moving us from Locked and Loaded into our next adventure, which I can finally tell you is called Meant to Be. This is an adventure by Chowder that... Uh, I keep saying it's wild, and I'm going to say it again. It's wild. It's fun, and I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, we've got a few episodes banked, and you're going to get a taste of what that experience might be at the end of this episode. Other quick things. Uh, didn't remember to say it last time, but we just passed our second anniversary at Dice Populi. So that's 50 episodes of Dicey Waters over two years with a bunch of bonus episodes, Patreon stuff, 5Ws, uh, Nicolas Cage nonsense. So for those of you that have been along on this boat ride with us, thank you so freaking much. Uh, for those of us, uh, for those of you that might just be joining, this is a great time. Uh, we're about to start a whole new story. So if you don't feel like cruising through two years of stuff, you don't have to. If you do feel like it, it's all there and we're super proud of it. Um, I guess the only real announcements, uh, two things I want to touch on. One, uh, we will be updating our recap episode within the next couple of weeks to reflect the completion of Locked and Loaded. It will direct new listeners to um, to start at Meant to Be, Chapter 51, uh, instead of starting with Locked and Loaded. So, as always, if you want to get someone into the show and they're like, I don't know, I don't want to listen to all that podcast, we're going to do our best to make that uh, nice and easy. They can get a little intro, a recap if they want, and dive right in wherever they feel is best. Lastly, um, if you hear an advertisement at the top of the episode and it hits you the wrong way, let us know. Honestly, I'm kind of excited that it's happening, but I will say also it is uh, it didn't exactly happen on purpose. We aren't suddenly trying to fill our show with ads top to bottom. We were just sort of turning some knobs on the back end, and I'm not going to lie, I accidentally enabled them. And then I think Matt came to me like, uh, are we doing ads now? So we're sort of trying to figure out how to control that stuff, what we want to allow, what we don't, or if we want to do it at all. It might not be a big deal to some people, but we never set the expectation that we were going to run paid ads on this show. So uh, if there are any concerns or questions about it, feel free to let us know. Twitter, Discord, email, however you want to get in touch. Um, they are not necessarily here to stay, and you might not even have heard them uh, as we try to figure out how this works. But going forward... We're keeping our ears open as we try to figure out the best way to uh, right this ship. <sighs> That's about it, though. I think that I'm just going to let you get back to it because Kahootek has some admiraling to do and Cult might have some exploding to do. Who knows? All I can say is nothing is off the table. You guys are uh, led out by the Mage Lords. And you see even more than what Maeve saw. There are a few dozen of these Mage Lord Keepers, and then, like, probably, like, a hundred or more troops of just, like, the kinds of soldiers you saw in Arianor. From what you've been hearing since the Black Tide about the Mage Lords converging around the center of the Badlands, it's hard to imagine they have more than this. Like, this seems like all of them. Can I for make a room. quick perception check please to see if i can notice a bird flying around that's particularly greasy <laughs> yeah go for it there is a deep deep part of me that just would be like all right well there's a lot of them right here it's time for a fireball uh 23 make the choices perception. you want to make uh 23 perception uh you see very few birds in the sky because it's night and very little grease in the sky because you don't see bait okay um so yeah, you guys are just being led, and it's, the weird thing is, the soldiers are not super, uh, the, like again, they're not trying to look aggressive, they're just kind of like standing in stoic poses, uh, and like kind of calmly leading you to the boat, they're not like pushing you, they're not shoving, not the way that he did Bottle Brew, because clearly there's some familiarity there. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's a walk down to the docks, do you say or, or do anything as you're uh, led to uh, a Mage Lord ship? I was just gonna ask so where where are you guys taking us? Uh, you're going to have to ask uh, Admiral Kahudek about that. I honestly, like I said, th it's the end of my day, man. I'm really just trying to hit the hay, you know? Are these ships larger than the Liberty? Uh, most of them are Liberty-sized, smaller. Um, but, like, some of the biggest ones are, like, you know, they look like they've got five decks and they're, like, 150 feet long. Like, they're, they're big, okay. big, big boys with tons so of sails and rigging. And they you are need, being led to one of those. They need more than three people to commandeer them. 
theoretically. Also, I do want to say that Jerry is hiding, is hiding somewhere watching this all go down. <laughs> oh, I forgot about Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> he would stay on the sh- He typically stays on the ship, but uh, because the ship is on Maeve's person, him and the skeleton crew are like behind a bunch of boxes, just staring at what's happening. Gotcha. So you are, um, you're led aboard this large ship. Uh, you see Admiral Kahutek on the top of the deck and he turns around and, and he, he looks at all of you and he says, I'm very glad that there was no need for bloodshed. After all, this is the Seti Alpha 5. There is no finer ship in the Badlands. So, um, he, he basically turns to you and says, I've promised not to harm you. And I will stay true to that word, so long as you do not harm us. But I must escort you away from Burger Island. To where? Some might say it is the greatest paradise here in the Badlands, and some might say it's something else. And at this point, I would like you, uh, all of you, feel uh, people behind you. Uh, attempting to uh, essentially just like place like a like a shackle on your person. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> if you are going to resist this, I would like you to make a dexterity saving throw. If you are not, then you do not have to. Oh, I'm resist. absolutely resisting. Okay. I got a 14. Plus... I have a 15 plus 4, uh, 19. Uh, I am at a 17. So, lock and cult, you are not quick enough to avoid having the shackles placed around your shoulders. Maybe you very quickly slip away uh, from the grasp of the people. You're, you're really not making a strong case. We're obviously here. We're obviously not going anywhere. This is for my protection. Do you think I do not know who stands on the deck of my ship? Uh, who's who stands on the deck of your ship? You do. Your exploits are no secret. Your histories are no secret. What exploits? The murder. Yeah, he's just gonna he's gonna like um pull out a little scroll and then put on some little reading glasses and like hold it very daintily and just kind of say. Ahem. Uh, the massacre of individuals at Farpoint, the destruction and murder of villagers at Stoneholm, leading to, by the way, the governmental collapse there and allowing the Black Tide to ferry them away into servitude. So that's cool. Um, let's see. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, hmm. The uh, disruption of Mage Lord's operations on an established and peaceful Mage Lord colony. And ah, yes, of course, disruption of local economies that fucking chance it was peaceful one of your own was stealing children how do you call that peaceful strauss was not um following orders our Uh orders are never to harm and frankly i can't risk you bringing harm to me and my crew and look at how big your crew is you had the ability to stop the black tide for years and you just let them roam free cost of business perhaps so i don't fucking care about all this shit that we supposedly have done, you provide the biggest threat here. You want us to come quietly? You take these fucking shackles off, or I'm gonna swing. Or, you know, I, c- I could take them off for you if it's not too much trouble. The the Admiral Kahudek looks at, looks at Locke and just kind of smiles and says, swing away if you must. All right. We will only defend ourselves, but I don't think you'll like that very much. Okay, okay, so how about we TPK don't attack? TPK time! <laughs> we... How about this? We don't attack or do anything, but we take those shackles off because we're trusting each other. Maeve, make a perception check. Perception or persuasion? Perception. Okay. Because you're sort of like the negotiator here. You're in the middle. I want to see That's if you're like 20. round nat 20. Uh, you look at the shackles and there are no chains mm-hmm. on their necks. What you do see are some colored gems. So they're so just the collars. They are the magical suppression collars. They are inhibiting your abilities to cast spells, but they are not locking you down. So they, they, that's what they have on them right now. Yes. So right now, lock and cult each have a magic suppressing collar on them, like the one that made bait fall off the tree. I see. And they don't know this yet. They just think that they have shackles on. Only you have caught this detail. Okay. Um, if that's the case, then I would like to cast twin, enlarge, reduce on the two of them to shrink them down. Hey! 
I'm assuming to shrink out of shackle. Um, uh, so when you try to cast uh, enlarge reduce, uh, one of the keepers uh, casts counter spell. That is unfortunate. Uh, so at this, uh, Kahutek will gesture towards Maeve, and someone approaches you with uh, with a collar appropriately sized, and he's like, "Listen again, I'm just it's just my paycheck, man. No hard feelings. Just following orders." You are not shackled. You are not bound. You are free to roam the ship as we approach our destination. But you're gonna you you can't even let you won't even let us use our powers. Look at the gems on here. And I'll point make it uh make a point of yelling that out so that uh the other two are aware. And and, and then and then Kahutek um uh, emphasizes again. These are for our protection, not yours. Well, duh. Whatever, man. That is cult speaking. <laughs> Duh. Um, so, yeah, so at this point, they place the magic suppressing collar uh, on Maeve, and then they say, All right, with that underway, we have some quarters prepared for you below decks. Once you have been released from the ship upon arriving at our destination, there will be no need for the collars, and they will be promptly removed. Again, by my word, no harm, strictly for our protection. You still have not answered where we are going. You said a paradise or something else. Elaborate. We've been aware of some shifts in interest in the Badlands. Uh, We're going somewhere you've been before, and I do think you'll want to get below deck because it will get a little hard to breathe and a little hard to live. Uh, And then the ships begin to peel away and sail straight toward the center of the Badlands. Alrighty. So if, so you guys go below decks. Uh, you're you are brought to quarters. It is not a jail cell. You have sort of there's like sort of a big room with a few beds in it, uh, nicer than anything you had on the Liberty. Um, and there you find Florence, also with a collar on. Uh, so Florence, you're wearing the collar. Last time you had this on, you were a cat. Um, and you, you see your friends enter, also uh, also bound with collars. Uh, what do you do or say? Get someone explain to me what's going on. I wish I could. Um, you know as I believe you know as much as we do at this point. All right. So after Mage a couple Lords of came in, they took Bottle Brew away. Then for some reason, they also wanted to take us. I we don't know. What would I know anything about Bottle Brew's relationship with this world history? Already twenty six. Um, so you recognize Admiral Kahutek as uh, uh, basically as a Mage Lord commander that Bottle Brew has sparred with before, but Mage Lord Presence has never had this many ships in the Badlands at once. So it's like, it's kind of like one of those things where they let Bottle Brew fly under the radar, and now suddenly they are not letting him fly under the radar. So it's just like sudden enforcement against Bottle Brew. The Mage Lords have never cracked a whip like this. All we can do is wait for them to bring us where we're going so i'm gonna fast forward just a couple of hours um you hear a lot of like bell ringing you hear a lot of footsteps you hear sails furling and things like that and a bunch of people run below decks and um the admiral uh stops by the room and he pokes his head and he says, I trust you're comfortable. You've been fed, clothed, everything like that. Um, <clears throat> I apologize for the discomfort. And I I have no choice but to say that interfering with Atritian affairs, trying to usurp the crown mage lord's power, as you've done from island to island, you lot like to play as gods. Mage lords are bound by law to avoid violence and death. But there are no laws in the Badlands. Ah! Locke literally laughs out loud when he says that. The real world has forgotten you exist, and I have good use for such hubris. He shuts and locks the door and walks away just as the ship begins to shake violently, and you recognize what it sounds like to be inside a chip passing through the tear. And at this moment, a small cat walks out from under the bed and meows, licks its paw, and gives you a little kitty cat greasy wink. I fucking knew it. I hate uh, it. Is there like some sort of pebble or debris or something I can uh, well, hold, grab onto and just chuck at the fucking cat? Well, I mean, at this point, Chowder, would you like to take it away? Florence takes a, a pebble that's lying around and just chucks at the cat. And where the fuck were you? 
Uh, <laughs> uh, bait morphs back into regular person form. I saw the fires coming and I decided to freaking hide. At least now one of us doesn't have the collars on. Listen, once we're out of here, I'm busting you out of those car- collars and we are going to be okay. He tries to he tries to sound hopeful. How did you avoid them, Bait? And why would you hide and not warn your friends so they could hide as well? There was no time. They were coming. And I did the best I could to make sure that you guys didn't get disappeared into the middle of nowhere. This sucks. This sucks so bad. I believe we have just been disappeared into nowhere. This is being disappeared into nowhere. Do you not feel the tremble of the deck boards? We are going into the tear. A lot of us survived it once. And he looks at you and he's being super earnest. We'll survive it again. Cut to a couple days of sailing later. And and uh, you you can hear major lords and sailors yelling out, Frozen water's ahead! Frozen. And like the door unlocks and you see Admiral... Uh, Kahutek. Kahutek. Looks like uh, you'll be doing your jobs quite well now. What jobs? Come, come up and see. He uh, sort of just gestures for you to follow, follow you guys to follow him. Okay, I'll, I'll follow. Same. Yeah, I will follow. Is Bait back in cat form or? In- yeah, he's absolutely. He's recharged. He's back in cat form, and he's just hiding under the. He's hiding under the beds. He could also turn into like a fly or something, you know. He could, but he's a cat. Sad. <clears throat> As you follow Lokotek through through a dim hallway, you. Ascend up some stairs. Uh, the light is a little blinding at first, but your eyes adjust, and now you're above above board. <laughs> <laughs> you see around you something strange with the waters. They're not moving, as if they were a painting, a single moment in time. And you see the other ships moving, a small magical barrier around them. Same goes for the one you're on. But you also see uh, ships that are not a part of the uh, fleet that took you here. But these ships are much like the waters. Stuck. Not not moving. Not even like they're anchored but rather just stopped. And you see off in the horizon, in the distance, an island. Large mountains. And a broken tower that almost comes off like a gash on the land. The land itself, dark and foreboding. Crystals pointing outwards as if trying to escape the center of the island. And that is where we'll leave off. Alrighty. Spooky. for me uh ba, 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 ba. let's see shit what am i looking at <laughs> there it is name of your sex type yes sex, sex tap sex, sex tape sex type. shit what am i looking at